Hey folks, Bobby here from Elm City Trailer in New Haven, Connecticut. I am here to show you today a very, very cool four place inline snowmobile trailer. Obviously you can use this trailer for motorcycles, ATVs as well, but it was designed as a snowmobile trailer. We're gonna start right up here. It's, it's obviously got a, a long V-nose with an electric jack. Electric jacks are nice, especially the older I get. It's got an adjustable coupler. This has an all aluminum frame. The whole thing is aluminum. This particular trailer has a 30 amp electrical pack, or I'm sorry, a 15 amp electrical package. So what happens is, you can plug in here, you've got your 110, your plugs, anything else you need, you want to run a heater, everything's in there. You'll notice it's uh, got LEDs down both sides, and not just two or three, it's nice when it has five per side, high, low, it's got screwless exterior panels, so these are all 3M taped. It's got aluminum rims, torsion axles, all stainless steel hardware. Oh my God, it's tougher to make it Now, the thing about an inline is, an inline snowmobile trailer, and you know, people will argue about this, but you are supposed to drive in the front and out the back. A deck over, you go either way. But the beauty of an inline is when you drive in from the front, the V nose, you get to utilize the tail end of the sled. If you drive in, your skis are wide and you can't utilize it. So, with that, license plate holder, LEDs, we can do a short ramp in the back, which kind of is nice because you can have a very, you can be backed up to something and be able to get right out. If you look on the inside, it's got in the floor, all recessed airline track. Ow. I'm gonna show you one other thing on it. Here's our long ramp for when we're loading. Now, the cool thing about this trailer. Now, this ramp, like the one in the back, will break in half. So, what happens is you get a clip. A clip. A lock, so it stays there. Take my key back. Actually, while I got you here, before I even go back up, we have a optimum battery. If you look up on the ceiling now, you're going to see the 110 lights and 12 volt. So it's got a load light on each end. It's got lights in the center, a load light on the far side, and I'm not plugged into 110, so my fluorescents are not going to work. But this thing, the way it is, and we can sit here, but I am 5'9". So this has got huge height. Nice part about that is if you're tall, you can come in here and you work on it, you can do whatever you want. The bad part about being tall and having a tall, the taller the trailer, the more drag you get. The thing will drag in the wind. But that's the coolest part about this trailer. So, once I'm done loading it, all stainless steel latches, all the aircraft hardware, everything. I take this and I push this button. And now my sleds are loaded, I'm all ready to go, and I don't want to pull this monstrosity because it's already 29 feet to the V. It's about 24 foot square plus the wedge. Now I'm going to sit here and I am going to lower this trailer, which is why we call it low toe. Not quite as low as me, mind you, but it's going to be low. You can go in and out of it. You can stop it anywhere you want. You got bikes, you got fairings. Oh, can only go so low. The lower you get it, the easier it tows. So this thing will come all the way down and you can drop it and you can still get in and out. You can still unlock it, go in it. It doesn't change anything. This is just the coolest thing in the world. Now, if you're still not sure, you look in, 
Eh, we can come down a little lower. We're not going to hit anything. Four pistons. There's no latches. It locks automatically. You stop it wherever you want it. Now we got sleds, so they're low. So we're going to bring it all the way down. Done. So now, I'm going to latch my back. I mean my side. I'm going to latch my back. And one of the coolest features for me is that I'm short, so I don't have to worry about it. Now, like I said, 5'9", and that's on a good day. If you sit back here, that is a half ton truck with a nice little lift on it, but nothing crazy. And look at how low that thing rides. You will not find a trailer of that size that will tow that nice. Trust me, I drove it home. Anyway, the low tow. Call us, Bobby, Elm City Trailer, New Haven, Connecticut. Thanks for watching.